All right, here's a short lesson on working with the arrow tool or the general selection tool. Once selected with the arrow tool, and we make sure in the info box we have this magnet turned off. There are a couple of different ways of selecting. We have partial elements or, or entire elements. With the partial element selected, if we come into our drawing space and make a click and spread out a box you can see that the slab and this wall and the zone anything that was partially in the box becomes selected if we go and select this icon here which is entire elements and we do the same thing and click and draw out a box only this chair that was entirely surrounded by the box becomes selected in addition to that we'll click outside of the area to deselect we have several geometry methods for drawing that box. We can select this polygon method again by drawing a polygon we, we were able to select everything that was totally within the polygon including this zone because the zone stamp was totally within the polygon. We can go back to the rectangular method or we can also use the rotated rectangular method for selecting objects. With the magnet selected and our tracker on, you notice this is a very easy way to pick up objects or elements. Right now we're showing a slab, but we're also over the zone. So if we click on the tab key, that brings up the zone and then if we left click on the mouse that will select the zone here we have the slab and we click and now we are selecting the slab here we're showing a wall structure if we click the tab on the keyboard we'll go to the slab and then finally the zone When we have our magnet selected and we press our space bar down, the magnet tool is temporarily suspended and we go back to our regular selection methods. We let go of our space bar and then we're back to working with the magnet again. Once something is selected, we can either click outside the area to deselect or we can hit escape and that will also deselect let's go into our 3d view we can do that by right clicking on the mouse and clicking show all in 3d and the arrow tool works quite well in the 3D window. First we have to deselect the orbit. And with the magnet selected we can easily s select from one object to another. 
again to deselect click outside the area or escape on the keyboard on some earlier versions of ArchiCAD it was necessary to find a, an edge on an object which was sometimes difficult so working with the magnet icon turned on is made selecting things in the 3D window much easier. If we have for instance the slab tool selected we can hold down the shift key and that again will bring up the arrow key or the arrow tool and we can select an object and again clicking outside will deselect another way to select an entire group of objects is for instance to with the slab tool selected hold down the control and A key on the keyboard and that will select the slab again click outside to deselect if we select the wall tool and again control A that will select all the walls in the view again we can go down to object control A and that will select just the objects in the view.